Hello and welcome to Into Wine's Tasting Room. I'm your host, Lisa Colenda. Today we're at Yield, San Francisco's first and only organic wine bar. The tasting theme for today is organic wines under $30. This is a 2005 Domaine Moret Copenet Chassagne Montrochet Burgundy. It retails for $19. Your French pronunciation was amazing. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. I would have asked whether one actually pronounces the T in Montrochet. I said, yes, you do, but very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about this is slightly confusing that Chassagne Montrochet, uh, the, the district, Produces red and white wines, so this, uh, strictly speaking, is a is a Chateau mm -hmm. Yeah, so now this is an absolutely correct Pinot Noir color, but it, uh, it's quite the opposite to a big black. Um, so it looks very soft and it looks very easy. Big Bordeaux, Bordeaux, the same vintage, will be much deeper and come much more ruby. And it's uh, showing some maturity. A little bit weak on the rim. So it looks very sort of going to be easy to use. Of course, burgundy, red burgundy is Pinot Noir. And I think the $19 of uh, Pinot Noir of this quality is, is exceptionally good value. Um, I like it. It's very dry, uh, much drier than, uh, say, most Sonoma or. or Oregonian Pinot Noirs you might come across. But yeah. um, the other thing is that the Pinot Noir grape is not all that dramatic like the Pinot Noir over here. Yeah. And the other very important thing is that the, the name is terribly important because there are uh, maybe dozens uh, of uh, vineyards, in fact, probably hundreds of vineyards in this particular district. And so the actual name of the producer of the domain is hugely important because some are better than others, if you go this way. And it's, it's a, frankly, I find Burgundy a minefield. It's got you really got to be very knowledgeable to be able to to buy it. I don't know this. Um, you see, um, the Moray family are very well known. In the One thing I love about it's twelve point five percent alcohol. Yeah. Perfect. Very nice, Chris. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a, a good um, kind of introduction to um, to kind of French. Pinot Noir for sure. Yeah. Um, it's got nice color for sure, but the flavors are pretty restrained. Not, it's not grabbing you in one direction or the other. Okay. Now, Chris, do you see more organic wines coming out of the U.S. versus international wines? Uh, definitely, um, definitely international. Um, a lot of the. French producers are, are organic, and Italian, Spanish, just more because they've been doing that forever. It's just the way it is. Um, so it's kind of like a lot of people that are drinking the same wine. And you come to find out that, oh, this is organic, it's great. So it's just more, more commonplace for, for quality wine to be organic. Whereas in California, it's kind of the, the opposite in a sense. And what those were to me about the, the color being absolutely correct. Uh, what was in describing features on the nose. And I think you simply don't expect <coughs> a, a true burgundy to taste like a Pinot Noir from Oregon or California. It's a different ball game altogether. Maybe it's saying great for that. <coughs> Good dry finish. I think it's nice. And look for $18, $19. It was very nice. Yeah, I, can't, I can't do it. And a, a, a 05, great vintage in burgundy. It's, it's definitely. Uh there, there isn't a lot of the, the earthier, truffly qualities to this one, though. It's, it's pretty well, mellow. Well, it's, it's a finished wine. Right? Yeah. It's, it's nothing right. that's... It hasn't come from it's, us, it's not grabbing. Simple but good. Simple but good, yes. Yeah. Wine, too. <laughs> and we like simple but good here at intowine.com where you've been drinking the 2005 Domaine Moret Coffinet et Chasson Montrachet Burgundy. Only $19 a bottle, you can't go wrong. Thanks so much.